Hello everyone, we're happy to have Paul here with us today. Paul, thank you so much for joining. How, how is it going? It's going great. Thank you guys for having us. Yes, uh, so my first question is, uh, how did you first become interested in crypto? Uh, so I became interested in crypto when, uh, in Miami here when they opened up uh, the blockchain uh, uh, center in downtown Miami. And uh, we were brought to a Cardano conference. And I learned all about the Cardano and crypto world. And it was just really fascinating. It opened up my mind to start developing it too. All right. And what are the benefits of uh, web free technology compared to traditional web technology? Uh, the benefits are, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a jump, it's a leap in security and in, um, in social uh, responsibility, uh, and also in. Um, I believe in utility and technology. It's uh, it's a it's a more uh, advanced uh, system, it, technology inspiration. Yeah, that makes sense. And can you share the main advantages of using cryptocurrencies compared to traditional fiat currencies? Uh, I think personally, I think you know it's the, the decentralized nature of some cryptocurrencies. Not all, obviously. I think it, it's, it gives it a, a higher level of, of utility and application. Um, so I think that's where there's a huge advantage. And uh, can you also share what are some like common misunderstandings about crypto? Uh, that's a good one. I think there's like a lot of like confusion and a lack of understanding in the branding of, of what's blockchain, what's crypto, what's what free, what's NFT. You know, there's a lot of like not uh public awareness of the difference in things and how these technologies work um and i think the the, the main issue is how and we need to communicate how these technologies will help people rather than give this mi misconception that it's all about just you know m money and casinos and just you know just uh wall street no this is about uh in my opinion it should be about making all these people understand this is the future of financial technology and your future and so forth. Uh, what challenges do you face uh, when working with Web3 project? I think like it's it's uh, I get lack of uh, adaption into the mainstream to how do we distribute these technologies. Uh, I think uh, you know there's there, uh, there there there's a lack of uh, at least in the mainstream sector good marketing good uh, you know good like formula how do you successfully launch a project let's say like an angry bird to the crypto world, you know, that needs to be like kind of a, more of, a, of that type of a formula. Um, and it's also challenging on a development standpoint. Um, you know, you, you, you encounter some issues that you don't even see in other parts of the technology sector. And how do you stay updated on the latest trends in Web3? Through word of mouth, my friends here in Miami, there's a lot of great uh, companies, uh, groups, discussions, events. Uh, you know, I just talk to them and I ask them and I learn. Um, and there's also a lot of great YouTube shows that I also learn uh, on crypto. And how often do you like attend events in Miami? And how often do they happen in there? Uh, they happen every day. <laughs> Uh, they've okay. been happening for careers um, every week or so. Um, I, I I go to like an office out here in Miami. And there's events there every week, so I could say every week. Okay, nice. And um, how would you like, for example, how would you respond to the criticism that like web free technology is too complex for the average user? I wouldn't disagree. <laughs> I think there needs to be more simplicity and and, and more. Um, in simplicity and, and utility in these applications in Web3 in particular. But I, I would argue that that's a good thing. It, there's a lot to develop, a lot to do, a lot to learn. So I, I think it's it's actually a compliment, you know. And in your opinion, what is the, what is the biggest risk for Web3 ecosystem in the next few years? I think it's two things. It's uh, obviously you know, um, this like adoption into a, a digital dollar uh, centralized currencies uh, is definitely one thing. I think we can, those two factors can get along. There's no reason why, you know, crypto can't get along with the centralized system. The other one is uh, lack of good content and security. You know, I think there needs to be, those are three things. 
like you know, so it's secure. There needs to be like you know, really good applications that are core secure, secure products. So people believe that web free is web free and not just a scam. Um, and the other is um, yeah, security. Um, I mean, good content. Good content is important, um, and that's what we want to deliver with XR Labs in our ecosystem. Um, I think there needs to be good games, you know, movies, music. Um, if there isn't, then people are not going to be engaged, you know, regardless if it's Web3 or 2 or, or 1. And uh, what do you do to ensure that you do not make false promises to potential users or investors? Uh, so we, we have a, a lot of, like, um, safety standards internally, you know, in terms of, of verifying that the technology we're working with is the most secure and the most futuristic and future-proof. Uh, so we, we're very adamant about ensuring standards internally. And with the market, we I think having these events, you know, uh, in every city in the world, you know, having these events where we, where we talk about Web3 and we expose these technologies to the public is very important. And also digitally, you know, through through all, all medium forms like TV, even even radio, like who cares? We need to like inform the public on on these technologies so they're aware and they don't take any risks. All right. And uh, can you share like what advice do you have for someone who is new to the world of Web three? You know, uh, have fun. Uh, you know, this uh, have fun and, and learn. You know, study first. You know. What is Web3? Look into what, why you want to use Web3. Find the, you know, the tool that's going to get you engaged with it. And then just, uh, you know, just uh, see what, uh, share with your friends. And, and, and you know, uh, the, the whole idea of Web3 is that uh, it's a way for us to connect at a higher level and for all of us to benefit uh, financially and, and creatively. So, you know, have fun. That would be my advice. <laughs> All right, Paul, thank you so much for this advice. And I have a last question for you for today. Uh, what excites you most about the future of web free technology? Uh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, I think I was thinking about it uh, earlier today. I think like music, uh, you know, web free music kind of applications, obviously metaverse uh, applications with web free functionality. Uh, I have an, in particular uh, avatar AI uh, product that I would love to integrate with Web3 somehow. You know, I really think that the, the idea of uh, expanding the whole social media front into Web3 is really interesting. And it's going to get society, I believe, moving forward in a more unified and uh, productive fashion. So uh, I'm just really excited for all that. Okay, Paul, thank you so much. Hope you guys yeah. enjoyed our discussion. And if you've got further questions or just want to connect with Paul uh, directly, you'll find his contact information right in the video description.